So today we are going to discuss anatomy of the eye. Eye is considered to be a spheroid structure but it is not completely spherical because the diameters inside the eye are not actually equal. Uh, therefore the shape of the eye is better known as ablate spheroid which means the vertical diameter of the eye the horizontal diameter of the eye and the entire posterior diameter are not equal well exactly speaking the vertical diameter is around 23 millimeters the entire posterior diameter is nearly 24 millimeters and the horizontal diameter of the eyeball is 23.5 millimeters. Uh, the outermost layer of the eye is fibroid of which the major part is sclera which is 5 by 6 of the fibroid part and the anterior most part is cornea which forms 1 by 6 of the fibroid part. The junction where sclera and cornea meet is called the limbus. The structure here uh, which is attached to the limbus is called the conjunctiva. There are basically two types of conjunctiva. Uh, this is attached to the eyeball therefore it is called the bulbar conjunctiva. The another is the palpebral conjunctiva. Okay so the next layer which is inner to the sclera and is the colored part of the eye or the colored layer which also extends anteriorly and forms muscular part and also the visible color of the eye which is seen is formed by this layer only um, this layer here is called the choroid and the muscular part of this layer is called the ciliary body or the ciliary muscles and the visible part which is seen as the eye color is the iris. A lens is placed inside the eye uh, and interiorly which is held by the suspensory strings which are attached to the ciliary body or muscles and are called zonules. Uh, they actually hold the central lens which is biconvex in nature. Now the innermost layer which is sensory and actually nervous in origin or made up of neurons is the retina. This is where the image is formed. Retina is attached to the choroid at a point called ora serrata. It is not complete over the eyeball. Um, this here is the optic disc. It is where these layers choroid and the retina are absent. Um, the retinal artery. Uh, which is shown by the red color and here is the retinal vein which is shown by the blue color enter and leave the eye ball from this optic disc or the optic entry only and this here is the optic nerve which also enters from the optic disc um, retinal artery and retinal vein are together termed as retinal vessels eyeball can be divided into two segments which is shown by this demarcated line. The anterior is the anterior segment and the posterior is the posterior segment which is filled by the vitreous humor, a uh, jelly-like fluid. The shaded part here, blue, is the part of the anterior segment and is filled by the aqueous humor which is a normal fluid. This demarcated line and the region anteriorly is the anterior segment and the region from the demarcated line backwards is the posterior segment. This demarcated line is actually formed from the posterior part of the lens. So the anterior segment would include obviously the lens, the ciliary body, the iris, aqueous humor and the cornea. The anterior segment can further be divided into two uh, on the basis where aqueous humor is present. This one here is the anterior chamber and the second is the posterior chamber. 
anterior chamber and posterior chamber both possess the aqueous humor anterior chamber is bordered by anteriorly the posterior part of cornea and posteriorly by the anterior part of iris whereas the posterior chamber is bordered by the posterior part of iris and the anterior part of lens and the ciliary body both these chambers are filled by the aqueous humor and form the anterior segment the posterior segment obviously is filled by a jelly like fluid called vitreous humor and also possess the sensory retina also the optic disc from where the optic nerve and retinal vessels enter and leave the eye quick theoretical review about the anatomy of the eye the eye could be divided on the basis of the coats of the eyeball there are three coats of the eyeball the first the outermost is the fibrous coat in the middle there is a vascular coat and the innermost is the nervous coat made up of nerves or neurons or it is sensory the fibrous coat further comprise of two parts the one sixth of the fibrous coat anteriorly is formed by the cornea as discussed earlier and the five by six part is formed by the sclera vascular coat is also known as the uvl tissue um, it further comprises of three parts from anteriorly to posteriorly they are anteriorly most the iris in the middle is the ciliary body or ciliary muscles and the posterior most is the choroid the nervous coat consists of the single and the sensory part retina where the image is formed another classification could be on the basis of segments of the eyeball there are as we know two segments this here is the anterior segment and the posterior most is the posterior segment the demarcated line as we remember was drawn from behind the lens so obviously the lens would be included in the anterior segment anterior segment could further be divided into two parts anterior chambers and the posterior chamber both of which are filled by the aqueous humor posterior chamber consists of the vitreous humor the jelly like fluid and the sensory part retina so that's it for this video thanks for watching